Can I get a hell yeah this morning? Because check it out. Crypto is up. And it looks like the chances for the Ethereum ETF approvals up too. But you know what's not up this morning? Those Trump digital trading cards. No, literally. These aren't up at all on OpenSea anymore. So you know Trump has three collections of NFTs on sale over on OpenSea. And right now, if you go check out those collections, they're still on the site, but they're not listed. You cannot buy and sell these now. Obviously, I got some thoughts on that. So we'll get into that in just a moment here. Before we get in, we're getting so close to 900 subscribers here on Inside NFTs. So if you you've been liking the content, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel over on YouTube. And don't forget, we do have a new daily show that comes at 4.30 p.m. Eastern time every day, Monday through Friday. And then fam, make sure you're following Crypto Slam over on X. We are so close to dropping some big announcements on you here. You don't want to miss any of this. Now, right into the NFT market, and you can see now for the third or fourth day in a row, we are up in the green. The value of NFTs increasing 0.82% here in the past 24 hours. Each morning, I try to show you the value of the NFT market by looking at crypto prices. And then we go to Magic Eden or Blur or WGMI, and we look at the floor prices of NFTs. Guys, all those steps you can eliminate by just using the Forecast Labs indexes here. The ETH composite, the Solana composite, and even Polygon and Cardano. These are taking the top few hundred collections in each blockchain. It is factoring in volume. It's factoring in US dollar value. So instead of going through all that work and checking multiple sites, you can skip all those steps by just looking at the indexes. You see this morning, the Ethereum ecosystem down 0.22%, but Solana NFTs really starting to pick up some value here. You see them up 1.53%. So whether it's the price of Sol going up or it's floor prices going up significantly, ultimately it doesn't matter. The value of the Solana ecosystem is up and you can learn that in just a quick moment here. Get in the habit of checking these indexes, forecastlabs.xyz. Now yesterday, a great day for crypto and a really good day for NFTs too. You can see sales bouncing back yesterday, 32.2 million that is cross-chain NFT sales. Unique sellers up, unique buyers up, total transactions way down though. But average sale price way up, offsetting the lower day of transactions. Now trade profit Profits were in the negative yesterday. I don't like to see that, but luckily this morning you can see we're already $409,000 in the positive. So looks like we're on pace for a big day today, at least beating yesterday's numbers. Of course, I'll keep my eyes on that, bring you updates tomorrow. And as far as what's moving the market, we're looking at Crypto Slam. You can see the General Ordinals collection is there at the top, followed by the Node Monkeys, the Board Ape Yacht Club, Fraganas, D Market, Gods Unchained, Pandora, Mad Lads, Howdy Hats, and Asset Vault rounds out your top 10. Those may actually be loans, so I'm going to look at that. For right now, consider that Block Games might actually be your number 10 project. And Bitcoin is your top blockchain by sales volume, almost 16 million in sales here. Now we're hitting our fungible NFT filter here because I do want to see BRC20s. Because guys, remember, I talk about BRC20s as a leading indicator for that whole Bitcoin Ordinals ecosystem. And you can see the top collection is actually a new BRC20 collection. And then we have two more BRC20 collections in the top 10. Okay, nothing scientific going on here, but I do see BRC20 starting to run before the Ordinals ecosystem really starts popping off. And I'm starting to sense that right here. So do we have a big ordinals run incoming? Uh, maybe. Now some top sales here in the past 24 hours. We got another D's nodes. I really got to dive in and figure out what those are. I can tell you that floor prices in that collection are something like 900 soul. So whatever this is, very, very pricey NFT. We also have a couple crypto punks. And they're at number four, a really cool piece from the Botto Project. You can see Utility Stream here selling for 45 ETH yesterday. Now this piece last sold a year ago for 10 ETH. So you clearly see people starting to value AI art, especially the early AI art. And the Botto Project in particular, just a really cool collaborative effort in creating these pieces. A lot of people feeling like Botto has got some historic works in it. So yeah, expect sales here to ramp up too. Now this one's wild and this is actually your biggest sale in the past 24 hours. You guys know Dark Farms more recently is the creator of that Bone token over on Solana. Yeah, one of this year's absolutely hottest meme coins. But before that, this guy's just a meme master. Well, this piece here was put up for auction and you could only bid in Bone. And once that auction's completed, all that Bone spent on this piece is getting burned. So reducing the supply, showing this token can be used for purchasing art, and I know for Dark Farms, that is a big push of his. He would love to get that token integrated on all these art marketplaces. I bet you he'll succeed there. And look, we're just growing out this digital economy. Absolutely love this kind of thing. So Bazinga Happy is your winner of that piece. He thinks Bohm is going to hit a buck this year, meaning he spent, in theory, 18 million bucks, almost 19 million bucks on that piece. A lot of conviction at play here, and I do think that's a special piece. Okay, moving on, I got a quick Ordinals update for you guys, and very specifically one story here, which is the Bitcoin puppets flipping the quantum cats and floor price. This is absolutely wild, and yes, you love to see it. Bitcoin puppets now at a 0.31 Bitcoin floor. Quantum cats at just 0.30. Now, the broader Ordinals ecosystem yesterday really struggled because Bitcoin was running so hard, really pushing up those transaction fees. So when it came to the cent sale yesterday, well, transaction fees were so high, they actually extended this sale for 24 hours. You can see right here, only 40% have even been claimed, and it is the fees that has people holding back. So keep your eyes on this collection today. Watch for those fees to come down. And at this point, 
point, certainly looks like we'll get some pieces making it to the public sale, so you may have a great opportunity to get right in this collection. Now, back to those Trump trading cards, which again, at this point, you cannot buy and sell these over on OpenSea. As of right now, we have no idea why these were actually removed, so we can speculate on a few things here. So one thought is, maybe there's some legal issues here with the artwork. I don't know if you guys remember, but some of the artwork in this collection, especially in Series 1, well, there was actually watermarks in some of the pieces. It is possible some of the artwork wasn't exactly paid for properly, maybe more like it was borrowed. So what I mean is maybe there's an issue with the art. Maybe someone wasn't paid. So just one theory there. Now another theory, and this is pure speculation just from me, but you guys remember the SEC going after the stoner cats and specifically pointing out secondary sales. The fact that royalties were made when these are sold on secondary markets. And that is something that the SEC has possibly used to consider some of these NFT securities. Now we do know there's a lot of attention on hitting Trump right in his wallet. So is this just part of a political game? That is pretty likely too. Either way, we'll watch this unfold, I'm sure, over the days and weeks here. And for now, if you do have those Trump cards, whether it's season one or two or the new mugshot edition, well, you can still trade those over on Magic Eden for now. I wonder if they'll get pulled there too. And hey guys, we have some great news now if you're a trader over on Solana. You know, in the past couple weeks with meme coin mania heating up, that blockchain has really, really suffered. And what I mean by that is sometimes you couldn't transfer soul from one wallet to another. You couldn't get transactions completed. I'm talking high levels of congestion over there. Well, that may soon be a thing of the past, thanks to a brand new token standard coming from Metaplex. So I'm going to give you a quick TLD are here, this token standard is very specifically addressing the recent congestion issues. NFTs on this new standard cheaper to mint, take less processing power, less compute power to actually move these, and here we get some examples of the cost savings. Right now, it may cost you about $4.25 to mint an NFT over on Solana, but with this new core standard, that would cost you about $0.70. Cents. But really, this is all about functionality, so they give another example here. Right now, if you use the current token standard, you could burn three to four NFTs at once in a transaction, but with the brand new core token standard, standard, you could burn up to 70 NFTs all in a single transaction. So more efficient, takes less compute power, and much cheaper. Yeah, this is exactly what Solana needs right now. It's at the perfect time. So this new core token standard should be in DevNet as of right now, and the hope is to have this token standard on mainnet in early April, so not far off at all. Alright guys, bounce into a couple more topics, and then we're out of here. You guys know Portal Coin, right? They've got that Dota 2 tournament coming up still this month, and you can use that Portal Coin to buy NFTs over on Magic Eden. Well, these guys also have a launch pad, and their first game is been announced. It's called Somo. This is being called the next generation Pokemon. So yeah, cool as hell trailer right here. Let's see what gameplay footage looks like. But I'll tell you right now, I wouldn't bet against anything that Portal's doing. My Spidey Sense tell me Portal, Portal Coin, everything they're touching right now gonna be a big, big deal for the future NFTs here. And finally, guys, I like any news that gets NFTs in front of a more mainstream audience. And that's exactly what you're seeing here with a new NFT WTF documentary on Netflix. Now this documentary I initially thought was all about Damien Hurst, but it is a a more comprehensive look at the NFT community. And really, it's a look at the history of NFTs. So NFT's WTF is going to take you through the worlds of the crypto punks, the Bored Ape Yacht Club. They've got some interviews with celebrity collectors to industry insiders here working in the industry. You guys could have reached out to me. I mean, I, you know. And they're talking to people like Snoop Dogg and Beeple. So NFT WTF, this will be on Netflix over in the UK. If you're not in the UK, my friends, just toggle on that VPN, right? Now, we got a great lineup of Slam Vision shows for you today. You got to check out the NFT live crew here at 1 p.m. Eastern time. I'm certainly hoping to make that, but I got to get my newsletter out today, which, by the way, make sure you're subscribed to that. It's called NFTs on Deck. Go to CryptoSlam.io to sign up, but then come right back to NFT Live. These guys are incredible. And then at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time, join us for a live edition of Inside NFTs. Remember, this is coming at you daily, Monday through Friday. And yeah, I'm a little biased, but man, I love this show and I love this crew. So guys, I hope to see you there. And then tomorrow, I'll be back with your morning NFT market update. We'll get into all the latest happenings, because remember, if it's happening in NFTs, I'm bringing you inside. Until the next next time. I'll see ya.